My little brother wants to fight you, and uh, should I be scared? Jaime, you should narrate the next World Cup alongside Perro Bermudez, and is that because of how fast I talk? Waiting for Sunday Bear, Jaime? <laughs> That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. So on Monday, I asked you if iOS 9 would make you want to buy an iPad, as of the news are that iOS 9 brings multi-window support on newer iPads, obviously. We have 1,057 comments, thanks a lot guys, out of which Shane says, I already have an iPad Mini 2. Apple should let split screen run on A7 iPads and up, and uh, you get the point, they're trying to make you buy another iPad. Then Radu says, can't the Surface tablet from Microsoft do that as well? Cause uh, that looks like a lot like Windows to me, and uh, yes, but the problem is that given the fact that Windows has been able to do this forever, and it hasn't really taken off after Windows 8, uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough for iPads either. And Vice says, so happy with the multitasking for iPad, although really frustrated at the same time. I really want split screen view to work on my iPad mini too. Surely it's powerful enough. I guess this is their way of tempting you to buy a newer iPad. The iPad mini 2 with Retina actually has a less RAM. They could use that as an argument, but I feel that it's not the problem. I feel that this is just Apple's way of making you buy something. Uh, yes, iPad Air 1 here, sadly. On Tuesday, I asked you if you would ditch Spotify over Apple Music as uh, we've got information on restrictions and it pretty much looks like Spotify in every way. We have 663 comments out of which Evan says, I won't ditch Spotify, I love it, and it's a pain to move playlists and you've got a really good point there. Spotify is just so cool and so cross-platform that it would be so difficult to leave it. I agree. Then G3 says, everyone is saying that they'll never ditch Spotify, but I bet in less than a year, Apple Music will have more paid subscribers than Spotify. I will switch. And uh, well, Spotify has a little bit of a learning curve and that's the advantage that Apple has with Apple Music. Uh, but uh, we'll see. You have a point there, but we'll see. And Rob says, never, I love Spotify. It's free unlike Apple Music and I can get the music I want, where I want, and when I want. P.S. I'm an Android user, and yes, as an Android user, you would have that struggle with Apple Music, but I don't think that's going to last long. On Wednesday, I asked you how important are selfie photos to you, as the rumors are that the iPhone 6S will bring some sort of a better selfie camera. We have 374 comments, out of which Mr. Popo says, selfies are S, and uh, well, if your name is Mr. Popo or... Poo poo, I'll take that literally. Jen Rose says, panorama for front facing camera. So people will start putting their faces on all angles, huh? Uh, yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you don't have a wide angle lens on that camera, the panorama is not really a bad idea. Then BC Bell says, selfies are an obnoxious fad that needs to end soon. And I doubt it will, but I agree with you. For me, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a big fan, but I know a ton of people that are. Then on Thursday, I asked you, what do you want on the Galaxy Note 5 as we've got some rumors on its specifications? And uh, we have 780 comments out of which Owain says, 12 core, 4 gigahertz CPU, 60 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage, 50 megapixel camera, one millimeter thick, and dude, you are in the wrong decade. And Ranger says, Galaxy Note 5 should have expandable storage and should be able to do the Google Play Edition. Please, I would buy it if it had those two options and uh, it would be cool for us to have a Google Play Edition or at least to have an Android skin, a stock Android skin. That would be amazing because that's the only way that the Note would work. And then Rashan says, keep the external storage and removable battery, but increase battery capacity and trim down the OS. I think that that is the desire of everybody. I love the Galaxy Note Edge because of its functionality. I hate it because the OS just sucks. It is really bad. And I feel that Samsung should really trim it down somehow, but we'll see. And finally, on Friday, I asked you if you wanted a keyword keyboard on Android, as the rumors are that BlackBerry and Samsung aren't working on something like this. We have 654 comments out of which Matt says, Samsung is making a huge mistake if they actually released this and you forget that you're talking about Samsung, that company that came up with the Galaxy Round in addition to other gimmicks. And Master Simon says, what if Google acquired BlackBerry? I wonder how would that turn out? 
It would be a good idea, I just don't see BlackBerry doing it. A lot of companies have wanted to buy it and it is just resilient enough to not want to sell. Then Joel Cook says, I would probably buy a BlackBerry running Android with a Curity keyboard and I would probably do the same. I was a big fan of Blackberries, not necessarily because of the OS, it was really snappy at some point, but also because of the fact that, uh, hey, the build quality was great, the design was great, and I feel that, uh, I don't know, BlackBerry would really benefit on Android, but we'll see. That's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, and you can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.